Family of man who died after being tackled by mental crisis team sues paramedic, police officer. Ass. O-C-I-A-T-E-D Press. Members of a mental health response team sent to help a man who was having a psychotic breakdown. I instead bleep him by tackling him and leaving him handcuffed, according to a federal lawsuit filed to este by the man's family. The lawsuit over the 2022 death of Kevin Dismang in Colorado Springs was filed against the team's paw. Remedic, Nick Fisher, and police officer Sean Reed. It identifies Fisher as the person seen taking Dismang, 63, to the ground in body camera footage rel. East last year by. Below are your comments. This is a reason I never thought of working in a role that deals with helping citizens with their OU. T of control partners and or family members. It seems that if you don't show up fast enough, you get sued. If you do show up and don't stop them from hurt the callers, you get sued. If you don't stop. So Denver sent a mental health team, and still needed a cop to get this guy down and secured. Sorry, short of everyone carrying a trank gun, and even then I will assume they will still get sued. At some point the person or their family has to take responsibility for their actions or lack of act. Ions. It's really unfortunate that we requested help and ended up in a homicide situation. This woman clearly has no idea what a homicide is. What a thoughtless statement. This guy was gonna end up that way regardless. Love Yahoo stoking things by implying tackling and cuffing was an intentional bleep. If a person can't control themselves because of mental issues they should be in an institution. Click on the first link and watch the so-called tackle. There was nothing rough or uncalled for a boo. T it. Sorry the guy died, but nothing in that video points toward homicide. Dot. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.